hello and happy Tuesday to you. I hope you guys had a well-rested three-day holiday weekend. Um, thank you to Martin Luther King, which yesterday was his birthday and his very special day. Um, you guys, I noticed a few of you, you like to show up for attendance, but you're not turning in work. You don't get a point. You don't earn points for just showing up for attendance. You need to turn in the daily proof of practices. We're not going to do it all the time, but right now, because we're learning new things, I need to monitor and make sure that you're progressing well with the rest of the class. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the agenda. I just posted it and was making some adjustments to it. So Monday, obviously, we were off. There's no video here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, but uh, I, it was a very special day to celebrate Martin Luther King Jr., who was a renowned civil rights leader, a preacher, and an iconic figure. He is probably one of my biggest mentors. Um, so I want to give a shout out to Martin Luther King. And what I have decided for today for your proof of practice is you are going to do a side-by-side -side of Martin Luther King as your first portrait on your own. So for this one, I'm going to have you do this as your proof of practice today. I hope that um, you use everything that we've learned. So based on all of the head and the mouth, we haven't gone over, but I think we've gone a bit enough for you to understand. You would start with like a, a happy face kind of vibe here. And then we'll go over that more in the nose. Think of these as circles. Okay, remember how we talked about these being ovals? I want you to first start off with the egg head and then the curve right here and then across. So you're going to put all your guidelines based on all of the head overall lessons. Give looking time and draw the upside down egg. egg head then the neck and chest so you're going to do contour lines first all right all right that using contour line lightly so that's the first step on this one that you're going to be working on today. Step two, you're going to add guidelines for the face, eyes, nose, and mouth position. So you're mapping it out, mapping placement. We've worked on this a lot. So I hope you understand we're breaking this down into baby steps. Do I expect that this is going to be done today? No. Um, you also have your three quarter eyes, but I want to stop that and go to Martin Luther King for right now. We'll go back to your three quarter view eyes because I, I just want to give a shout out to this man. He's as well deserving with his sacrifices and everything that, um, you know, has gone on politically, I think this is really important. So I got really excited about this idea and I hope, um, you know, we can do him justice in our drawing and really give looking time. I want you to do a side by side shot of that today. Okay. Side by side screenshot of the photo portrait and your sketch okay if you um, get done with these other things you can add features you guys should be able to add features today the eyes nose mouth okay 
and then you're going to do a screenshot. I think that's plenty for one day. I don't expect shading. I don't expect any real details put in, but the mapping out of the face and mapping out the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And I'm going to go ahead and post an image of that. Let me see if I can find something really quick. Drawing of face. And there's always like these guidelines and images that we've been learning. Let me see if I can find something that's really similar really quick because I'm doing this live. It's a three quarter view. Three fourth view. <laughs> I'm finding it, but not the same direction. This is fine. Any questions about that? Does that make sense, Leroy? Leroy's not with us anymore. Is that right? It's too bad. Leroy. All right, I guess we lost him. So I'm going to put this on the agenda. That you're going to, here's, you know, some little helpful hints. Yours should look like this one right here. This is the similar view. His head is much rounder, so you're going to draw it more round. But that's based on the lessons you've already learned. Does anybody else have any concerns or questions? Does this sound reasonable, Robert? Yeah, it sounds easy. Very good. All right. So that's your proof of practice today. I'm going to go ahead and post the proof of practice. And I'll make my elaborations on that one. So we're pausing the three-quarter view eyes in respect to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So I'm going to just paste this on here and make this your assignment and you're good to go. You have roughly 35 minutes to do this. That's easy. Do the best effort possible. I, you guys have been really blowing my mind. You've been doing a really great job lately with your eyes, your heads, your mouths. You guys have just been doing splendid, and I'm so proud of you. And it's a side-by-side -side photo for a screen, a screenshot. We practiced that the other day. You all got that real nice. No sideways artwork. There's a video on how to do um, images, how to rotate them. Here's a screenshot of what a side-by-side -side looks like. So you can't say you don't understand. I know you understand. Any other elaborations about this? And you know, one issue that I've noticed is several of you uh, think it's okay to turn in this work late. It's not okay. You only have till the end of the day. Don't ask me to grade things after the fact when you turn them in late. I have way too many loose ends going on in my life right now. And these don't automatically update. So it's too ridiculous that people aren't doing them the day of like they're supposed to be. Unless you have a doctor's note. Some major things going on in your life, which a few of you do. And you can talk to me about that and send me proof of that. Then I can accommodate you. But it's too hard when we have stragglers all over turning in late stuff. You need to be responsible and organized. Um, if you turn it in not rotated, that's a problem too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and help students individually with anything they need.